Welcome to, This Cruel World. In these videos, we will be going through victims that had unfortunately crossed paths with Jeffrey Dahmer. If you haven't done so already, please consider watching Dahmer's other victims linked at the end of this video. This is Raymond Lamont Smith and he was Jeffrey Dahmer's sixth victim. Smith, who also goes by Ricky Beeks, was born in 1957 and was 33 years old at the time of his death. Little is known of Smith, only that he left behind a 10-year-old daughter and he was Dahmer's oldest victim. As reported by the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, Smith was living with his half-sister at the time of the murder and she said that it was not unusual for him to be gone for long stretches of time. Dahmer met Smith just a short time after he was released from his 10-month prison sentence for assaulting a 13-year-old boy, as reported by Newsweek. After his release, Dahmer moved from his grandmother's house into the low-income Oxford Apartments, located at 924 North 25th Street, Milwaukee, and closer to the gay clubs. Dahmer confessed that on May 20, 1990, he lured Smith to his apartment by offering him $50. Once Smith was at his apartment, Dahmer drugged him with sleep aids and strangled him to death. With his uncontrollable urges, he then violated the dead body. After he took advantage of Smith's lifeless body, he took Polaroid pictures to add to his collection. Once Dahmer had his way with the body, he then proceeded to decapitate and dismember the corpse. He soaked the remaining body parts in acid and removed the flesh from the bones. Dahmer then placed the cleaned bones throughout his apartment as decoration. Smith's skull was later found in his refrigerator when Dahmer was arrested. Please like and subscribe to our channel as we will continue to go through each of Jeffrey Dahmer's victims in the upcoming videos.